So I'm not getting you into trouble. No. Actually, you can do what you like, can't you? It's not your show. Oh, uh, well, that's true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We'll, we'll, the, if the phonic management turn up saying this is all tre- dreadful, we'll say, well, mm, you'll you have to talk to Matthew. <laughs> He's in the Pyrenees. He's near Toulouse, somewhere in a van, although we believe he's working on a barn. Yeah, OK. Which we hope is keeping the, the cold out at this time. Oh, it'll be, it'll be cold. But it, people always tell me about uh, heat and uh, cold abroad. They always say, it's better there. Oh. Like, the heat is better. It's a dry heat. It's a dry heat over there. And I'm the cold not worried about the, the heat. I'm worried about... He's, he's, near the, he's near the Pyrenees. I don't know. He's near, I'll, I'll ask him where the snow line is. He might be he listening. Says, ask him. Well, yes. Has he got a radio in his barn? We'll, we'll, um, we'll try and find out how close to the snow he is okay. and whether he's still, still, you know, OK. Well, he's presumably not on the top. Oh, anyway, carry on. Well, look, since, since we're going to send him a message, we'd like to know... If he's found his microphone yet, if he's got rid of all the virus threats in his computer, and when he's going to send us some sound, do you think that's reasonable? I think it's his show, so it I think is it's his reasonable. show. Yes, it is his show, and you are his loyal, <laughs> his loyal <laughs> servant. So, um, yeah, how's, how's your barn? How's your barn, Matthew? Thank you for having me on the show. 